Well hello again music lovers, Uncle Rod is here to make another video to show off his recent arrivals on CD this time again. So we're going back a few months, we'll get straight into it. Um, I used to read the Uncut magazine um, out of England and they used to, still do of course, um, they have a CD that comes out bunch of tracks on it each month with the magazine and over the years I've picked up many CDs and albums from them hearing really good tracks off those CDs and uh, yeah turning me on to a lot of good music and probably I've stopped subscribing now I mean I, I got a bit bored of the magazine it's kind of the same stuff all the time covering the same old bands and um, same old stuff and you know lost interest but it's called cool. the last CD and the last one I got out had a track by this band this CD and this is left field this is electronic dancey type music um, they had an album out 15 years ago called left leftism which is supposed to be their best album and I actually picked up a copy of it about the same time as this and I've only listened to it a couple of times and I'm not hugely impressed with it which is interesting because it's pretty highly rated but I'm very very impressed with this um, Universal Everything was the track that was on the um, Uncut CD and that was when it totally blew me away it's just a great big thumping bassy driven dancey electronica piece of electronica and I mean it just sounds absolutely fantastic at excruciating volumes out of these speakers and uh, I just love it so overall it's a good album and I'm really enjoying it and um, highly recommend it so this is certainly a great comeback um, and from what I've heard better than the earlier stuff uh, also earlier in the year I picked up this this is John Zorn's Masada. This CD is called Sanhed Sanhedrin. Um, unreleased studio recordings. So this is a double CD. Uh, it's got quite a hard, it's almost like a book. So it's got a hard cover. And it's got, as you can see in here, if you probably can't, but it's got a whole bunch of pages like a book. Um, so it's got some writings. John talking about um, the Masada project. So this is from the very first Masada book and um, that kicked off around about 1993 were the earliest kind of rumblings and then it took off about 95 with the Masada Quartet and um, Masada is really the The word I'm looking for. It's, it's really John Zorn's peak, I think, anyway, and, and he's put out a lot of Masada stuff. There were 10 volumes of Masada, book one, the original ones, then there were some live CDs, and then there were tribute CDs, and then there were all sorts of CDs, and then this one came out later on. Um, several of the tracks on here I already have on some of the other CDs, they're obviously alternative versions because they are uh, unreleased. Or, or they were on the live the live CDs that I've got but yeah this is this is great I just love Masada stuff I highly recommend it it's some of the best modern jazz around as far as I'm concerned and speaking of John Zorn sticking with John Zorn um, the man puts out a hell of a lot of music he puts out CDs practically every month uh, nothing on vinyl nowadays, it's very rarely. Um, so I've got 
in my hand here the last three releases from July, August and September I think. So first one is this one which is playing behind me right now and it's called Furrow in the Dark, it plays John Zorn. So this is a band of downtown New York downtown musicians um, that John's got to, get, um, got to play some of his music. He's probably um, composed the music specifically for them and then they've taken it and put their own slant onto it. It's, it's a very good CD, it's great, instrumental, um, mostly up-tempo, or well, this song's a wee bit slower. Um, real mix of all sorts of stuff and I've had three or four listens to it, it just arrived a couple of days ago and it's really a very good CD. Very accessible for John Zorn, um, so if you're not familiar with his music, great place to start. These other two CDs we've got is The Inferno and the other one is True Discoveries of Witches and Demons. So John has been writing music for a uh, trio with a organ led trio with John Medinsky, Medis John Medinsky playing the lead organ, uh, bass and drums and uh, it's pretty full on sort of um, kind of like heavy metal in some ways, heavy metal, fusion, avant-garde. Um, it's not easy listening music, it's certainly a little bit more full on. So we've got the two CDs, I think this was the second one that was out. Um, there was one came out, the first one came out earlier in the year, and then Inferno is the latest one I'm pretty sure, which is from September. There are two more John CDs, a bit of John Zorn CDs. Um, again, another one I think with someone playing group playing his music he doesn't play a lot of on a lot of the stuff nowadays he doesn't play he plays live but he doesn't record a lot of stuff he's mainly composing now but his, his discography is huge um pretty much all of that shelf third shelf down several in the second shelf below it and then another shelf below that is all John Zorn and there's a few others scattered around and amongst the um, um, other stuff, and there's a lot of his record labels, uh, Zadok Records, the second shelf down, that's all from his label, um, some pretty interesting music there, so I, I really love it, it's exciting, it's exciting music, it's um, very contemporary, a mix of so many different styles, and, and John just does so many different things, and he is real workaholic musically he lives breathes eats and shits music basically and um yeah that's that's his life and he's married to music so i enjoy it i think it's got a lot of energy a lot of adventurism and and some of the best music being put out today so a bunch of other cds arrived just the other day and um well first of all two two arrived a couple of weeks ago uh this fella here, Don McGlashan, now he is a Kiwi, he is an, a Kiwi icon as far as I'm concerned, um, been around a while now, since the early 80s, uh, had a band back in 1981, they put out, uh, called Blam Blam Blam, they put out a song which is a New Zealand classic called There Is No Depression in New Zealand, um, and also a song called Don't Fight It Marsha, It's Bigger Than Both Of Us, both tracks had a, a, a modicum of success here, um, I wouldn't say they had radio play from memory, but they had videos on the television and um, I think they sold a, a reasonable amount of records for New Zealand. Uh, he went on and they did one album from memory, which I have on CD, and then a, it's a, like a best of, so it's got pretty much their whole album and then a few other bits and pieces they put out. It's pretty much their whole recording, they didn't record a lot. He, he went on after that to um, front a band called The Front Lawn. Um, and they had a road show that hit the road around New Zealand and had some sort of stage act happening and that and then with the music was driving all of that and he's got two albums out under the front lawn which I do which I also have on CD um, somewhere over in that lot there and that's real great Kiwiana music it's got a real Kiwi flavor to it if you want to hear something that's got not just um, copying all the overseas stuff it's got a real kiwi flavor to it and the way he sings and they are fantastic albums really really good then he went on um in the early 90s and formed a band called the mutton birds 
and they were fairly commercial, but a, a, a pop rock band. So they could, you know, they could rock out, but they had great melody and great songs. And um, he put out under them with them about four or five CDs from memory, um, none of which I have, uh, but I do have their kind of best of. And uh, which, and the highlight of that is a song called Nature, which was a cover version of a 1960s New Zealand track by a band called The Formula. Um, so they covered that and they did a fantastic job of that. So John Dot, this is his latest. He's got several other solos, uh, three or four solo albums, or well, one with a group, um, uh, which I have one of. Um, unfortunately, none of this is available on vinyl. Um, this is self-released. I um, got it off one of the New Zealand online shops. And I have seen co copies of the of it in the local record shop, but it's not it's not that widely distributed. The other CD that arrived the other week was this one, awesome awesome CD, Alabama Shakes. This is their second album that they brought out and at the start of earlier this year. It took three years to get around to bringing one out. I've been waiting and waiting for it. Um, first few listens, pretty disappointed to be honest. Um, took a while to get into this. Um, it's a little bit more adventurous, I would say, and experimental from their first album. Um, also a little bit more lo-fi, and that's what probably put me off. But it's growing on me very, t you know, and I, and I am really, really enjoying it. Still like the first album better. So, just arriving in the post with the John Zorn CDs the other day. Um, these albums here have all been... I've had on been streaming them on Tidal for the last few months and really getting to know them and really enjoying them. So finally got around to purchasing Betty Betty Levette. Now this woman is now in her 70s, but she's an old R&B crooner from back in the 60s. She was around a contemporary of Aretha Franklin, if you don't already know that. Um, I've heard some of her uh, 60s music, and it's good, but it's nowhere near as good as Aretha's. She didn't quite have, have that same mastery of voice. But nowadays, she is really good. She's really matured, and she's really, you know, given it some, given it some good stuff, man. And, and so she's, last few albums, she's picking out, um, a lot of covers, all covers pretty much, and um, a lot of it's quite dark, especially the, the lyrics. It, so it's very Americana, I mean, you know, it brings back to me, my, my mind some of the later Bob Dylan stuff, that sort of style, and there's actually Bob Dylan covers on here. There's a Bob Dylan cover on here, there's a Lennon McCartney cover on here, a song called Wait, um, unbelievable Bob Dylan. Um, and then, yeah, I, I'm not quite sure if this is as good as the last one, which was Thoughtful and Thankful. Um, that was a great album of covers that she did, but that's what put me onto her. So, but this is pretty good, and also fantastic sound quality, recording-wise. This one here, I really enjoyed. Um, Joan as Policewoman, the classic. Now, I think this was her latest album. Play it again, Sam. Is the label? I don't. 2013. So I'm not sure whether she's actually put anything out since then. I'm not. I don't really tend to follow them so much. But there's been nothing in the uncut that I recall. Cut magazine, although as I say I don't read that anymore. I stopped a couple of months ago. Yeah, so that's a good album. I, I highly recommend it. That's she's a singer-songwriter. You know, it's a pretty poppy. Um, but yeah, not again, not the sort of stuff you're going to hear all over the radio, perhaps. But um, yeah, lots of melody, but good, good stuff. Um, Neil Young, Neil Young. He's another man who's quite prolific, and he's putting out an album every year almost nowadays, sometimes two. So this is the Monsanto years, his latest political rant, having a go at the Monsanto Corporation. Um, yeah, I like this album. Yeah, you know, it rocks out pretty well. It's um, not Crazy Horse, of course. It's Promise, Promises, Promise of the Real is the name of the band. So it's a new band that he's put together for this project, or whether or not they record anymore but um, if you're a Neil Young fan you'll like this this is pretty good um, finally this one's something a little bit different and let's see if I can pronounce this this is a band from I think Mali Mabongwana Star the album's called From Kishasha 
Kinshasa. So this is it here. This is so this is African. You know, it's got that African. Well, they're singing in African, and it's got African rhythm and African um, stuff in it. But it's also very modern electronic, electronic music. Um, so it's got quite a good beat. A little bit of rapping in it, almost rap in it, perhaps. You know, a bit of influence there. But um, certainly very dancey electronic music. It's pretty cool artwork on the on the on the big fold out here. If you can see that, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so this was uh, released earlier this year, year 2015 on a World Circuit. World Circuit do a lot of this sort of stuff, so they're, they're a pretty good label if you're into this sort of stuff to ch check out. I, I've got a couple of World Circuit CDs floating around, but this is really good, really getting into this, love it. I mean, I, I, I do love African music, I've been mainly into more the 70s Afro funk with like Fila Kuti, and I've got a heap of compilations sitting over there behind that speaker. Um, from Soundways and African Analog Africa, um, among other labels, and uh, they're really, really good. But this is this is pretty cool. So, so, so modern, pretty modern African music. Um, yeah, no, highly recommend that too. So, um, so that's the CD pile that's arrived, and um, that's pretty much it for now. Got quite a bit of vinyl on the way, uh, which I'll talk about on another video. So hope you're all well and we'll see you next time.